Well, hello everyone. Thank you for joining us again this weekend. If this is your first time joining for Liturgy of the Word for Children, I'm so happy that you're here and welcome. So the first thing that we need to do is a little bit of an update on our birdie babies. Guess what? Some of them have hatched. We have two that have already hatched and we have one that's hatching right now and then one that is still needing to be hatched. So that means we almost have four babies in the nest. We have two and a half babies now. <laughs> and we're gonna need some help naming these babies here soon. So I'm gonna be looking to you guys to help me out with that, okay? All right, well, let's go ahead and get started for our liturgy today. We begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. O oh God, your son Jesus gave bread and wine to friends on the night before he died. Help us to remember you when we gather with our friends in prayer for the meal of the Eucharist. Amen. All right, good. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, when we drink from the cup that we ask God to bless, isn't that sharing in the blood of Christ? When we eat the bread that we break, isn't that sharing in the body of Christ? By sharing in the same loaf of bread, we become one body, even though there are many of us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the Lord, my soul, who heals the brokenhearted. Bless the Lord, my soul, who heals the brokenhearted. The peace of God shall be your hope, God's finest wheat your food. The word of God fills all the earth as rapid as the whirlwind. Bless the Lord, my soul, who heals the brokenhearted. of St. John. Jesus said to the crowd, I am the bread from heaven. Anyone who eats it will live forever. My flesh is the life-giving bread that I give to the people of this world. They started arguing with each other and asked, how can he give us his flesh to eat? Jesus answered, I tell you for certain that you won't live unless you eat the flesh and drink the blood of the Son of Man. But if you do eat my flesh and drink my blood, you will have eternal life and I will raise you to life on the last day. My flesh is the true food and my blood is the true drink. If you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you are one with me and I am one with you. The living father sent me and I have life because of him. Now everyone who eats my flesh will live because of me. The bread that comes down from heaven is not like what your ancestors ate. They died, but whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So some of you might recognize the shirt that I'm wearing. It is our first Eucharist and Confirmation shirts for this year. 
a lot of you have one of these shirts, right? Because today is a very, very special day for a couple of different reasons. It is the feast of the body and blood of Christ. That is the feast day that we're celebrating. But the other thing that we're celebrating today is our sacrament preparation class of 2020 making their first communion and confirmation today. And what a perfect day for that. The day that we celebrate Jesus giving us Eucharist. How cool is that? So, Many of you know, but maybe not all, so I'm going to remind you, did you know that Eucharist means Thanksgiving? So, and Eucharist is what we call the meal that we all have together at Mass, where we have some of the bread and some of the wine that has been turned into, has become the body and blood of Christ. And so, Thanksgiving. Well, what do you think of when you think of Thanksgiving? Do you think of the holiday in November? That's certainly one of the things that I think of. And that holiday is, is a great representation of what we do every week because we gather together as family. We gather together as community and we share a meal together, but not just any meal, a very, very special meal. The meal that Jesus gave us when he gave us the Eucharist. So why bread and why wine? Why did he pick those two things? Well, there's a couple of different reasons. The first is that was the most common food and drink of the time. So they were staples in their lives. They were constants in the lives of Jesus and the disciples and his followers and the community that he lived with. They were things that were very familiar and very comforting to them. And that's what Jesus wants to be to us. He wants to be familiar and comforting. And so he used those for that. The other reason is because bread is nourishment, it is filling, it's easy to come by, so it's handy, it's accessible. And he wants to be those things to us too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you guys as a family take part in these discussion questions. Go ahead and pause the video and we'll resume in just a moment. Together, let us offer our profession of faith. We believe in God the Father, who made the whole world. We believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who was born in Bethlehem and lived among us, who died on the cross for us and rose from the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit who brings life and love to us all. We believe that the church is one family and that one day we will share everlasting life with God in heaven. Amen. Let us pray now for the church, our world, for those in our community, and for our own needs. We pray that all who are hungry will be fed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for peace and harmony amongst people in our country. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for families and friends that they may remember to listen to and care for each other. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for love and laughter and an end to all sickness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Loving God, listen to the prayers we make in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you next weekend.